Yeah, this is a newly engaged couple who tell me their dog is friendly, loves people and has never been aggressive before. They do admit, though, that their dog has jumped the fence a couple of times in the past year into their neighbor's yard and they say they knew their neighbor was annoyed. They just never thought he'd pull a gun. We just moved here to start medical school. We bought a house. We're starting our lives together. Lauren Foster and Michael Andring have two dogs, both Labrador pit bull mixes. The blonde, Aurora, an energetic almost two year old, was playing outside yesterday around 2 p.m. when she jumped the fence. They were out for only a couple of minutes, and all of a sudden I heard a shot go off, and then I heard uh, my dog. Yelp in pain. Lauren ran outside to find Aurora in her neighbor's yard, bleeding near the fence, her neighbor holding a loaded gun. She's in there bleeding out, yelping, looking at me. And as I walked up, he turned his body towards me, gun still outstretched, fingers on the trigger, and the gun is still loaded, and it has, at this point, the gun pointed at me. She asked her neighbor why. Just the, the look on his face when I said why. You know, I'm sobbing, my tears are down my face, and all I can muster is why. And he just says, she was on my property. He had not even an ounce of sympathy, nothing for me. According to the police report, that neighbor says he called animal control about the dog in the past, but Madison Heights police couldn't find any evidence that a complaint had ever been made at either address. According to the report, the neighbor also said the dog jumped his fence and charged at him. Then he ran into his shed for safety and then went into the house to get his gun. That doesn't sit well with Lauren and Michael. He says that he has time, he had time to enter the house, grab a gun, not call animal control, not call us. Instead, he felt so threatened that he needed to come back out with a gun and shoot her. Meanwhile, Aurora is still in the hospital and it doesn't look good. But we got the call this morning that severed one of her radial uh, nerves, so they had to take her leg off. Less than two years old. I mean, she has so much life ahead of her and she's such an active dog. It's just going to be heartbreaking. So that dog Aurora will have to have that leg amputated. Meanwhile, I did go to the neighbor's house. I knocked on the door. He wasn't home. I should point out, though, that that police report does say the gun he used, that pistol, is registered and that he did call 911 to report the incident. I'm reporting live. Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Wow, just sad to hear that story, Jennifer. I hope that dog, even with one leg, will be okay. Thank you so much.